my channel, I'm Crafty Lady Etta. Today we're going to be doing a very special project. Now if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will notify you of any and all upcoming videos, and share. Okay, well with all this being said, let's get started. Come on. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Crafty Lady Etta. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make some really cute trivets um, out of clothespins. Now, I did these ahead of time off camera to show you what they'll look like. You can paint these any color you want. I just happened to just paint one blue with silver and this one like an adobe color, brown. I put rocks in the middle for the reason that I put a little uh, stand underneath it. So, you're gonna need clothespins. I got these clothespins at Dollar Tree, these ones right here. They were a dollar and there's 36 in a package. So I bought three packages. Uh, the only other thing you're gonna need is wood glue. This is Dollar Tree wood glue, or you can use any other wood glue. And maybe two or three colors of paint. I happen to just pick blue and brown and white. I mix the white with uh, the brown to give it a little bit more of an adobe color. Now, with the blue clothespins, you need a total of 24. With the brown, you're gonna need a total of 22 on the top, and since I made a base on the bottom, you see it right here? Watch, you see the base? I did uh, eight. There's eight in here together, so it'd be two, four, six, eight. There's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Now, that's why I put this rocks in the middle uh, to just fill in the hole. You can put whatever you want, now with all this being said, let's get started. Okay guys, the only thing I wanna show you is how I put these together. So I'm gonna show you, I took I took uh, these apart, like this. I'm gonna do a few of these. It's gonna be a quick video. That's only because I've already done these ahead of time. But I'm gonna show you how I did them. Okay, now this, you see the design on this one? You see how I did it? Let me show you. What I did was I got these, two of these, and I glued them together like this. You see the holes? And I just kept gluing them in a circle like this. See? You see how I did the holes? You see the holes, how they're facing? You see the little grooves here? See the little grooves? This is how I did them. And I just glued them until it all went into a circle. See? You see how I did them? Watch. I just did them like this, and I just kept gluing them with wood glue. Just like this. And I fixed it as I went, like that. And I just kept gluing them, like this all facing the same way see like that i did it all the way around so the blue has a total of 24 24 meaning a set 24 of these not 24 of these single 24 clothespins that i took apart so you'll need 24 of these and then when you take them apart you're going to glue them together with wood glue don't use hot glue they'll fall apart you want it to last now you see how i did it See how I glued it? I just glued them all together like that. You see it? This is how I did it. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Let me do this again. I think you got the idea. Okay. You see? So I glued them all facing that way. See it? You know it because the straight part. Just glue all the straight part together at the bottom only, like this. Like that, okay? See, watch, like that. This is the straight part here. Just glue the bottoms all together, all the way around. So when you do, and then I paint it and I cover it with a clear coat, okay? That's all I did, and I just uh, 
got one of these, got some dry brushed, a little bit of silver over it if you want to do it that way. Or you can just, you know, paint a solid color. I just thought I'd do it with a little bit of silver on it. Now, for this one, I did this one, like I said, this one has a total of 20, 22. 22 meaning these, 22 of these, these sets. So it'll be one, two, all the way around 22. Then you're gonna take them apart just like I did this one. And on this one, all I did was I just got them like this and got the other one like this and did them the opposite. See how I did it? Watch. Form that little square and make sure it's just straight. See that? You see how I did that? So that's one and all I did was make them 22 of these and then I glued them all together. You see the hole? See how I did it? See? And I just glued them all around. And I put the rocks because I put a base on it. And the base, all I did was, again, the same thing, glued them all separate. And then all I did was just glue them all together. I did them like this. I glued them all like this. And then I just glued them crisscross like this for the back. You see it? that and I did a cross and then I did two more this way and two more this way you see it the cross and then I did two this way and then two this way okay do you see how I did that you don't have to put this if you don't want this is optional I just did because I just wanted to and you see how I put them together and then I just glued them all the way around then I glue the little stand and I put rocks in the middle, but that's optional. You don't have to do this. You can just have it like this, just flat. I just wanted to be cute and do it like this. Okay, well, that's how I did these. Now let's see what they look like trivets, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, here's the finished product. You can put a pot on there like I showed you earlier. You can use it to put anything on here, a bowl, salad bowl, whatever you want. See, I thought this came out super cute. You could put, you can even use this as a plant stand if you want. Just make sure when you do put a plant stand, you put something to catch the water because the water will maybe cause it to fall apart. But this is super cute. You can do just about anything with these trivets. This is one way, one trivet to do. I like the way they came out. You can put a bowl however you want. Well, if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will notify you of any and all upcoming videos. And share. Okay? Well, with this being said, keep on crafting. Bye.